Hi, I'm Daniel Dixon with FreeAccountingSchool.com, and today we're going to answer the following questions. What is double entry accounting, also known as double entry bookkeeping? What, uh, why is double entry accounting so important for you to learn? What is single entry accounting? And we're going to talk about the history of double entry accounting. So this is all to prepare us for actually doing some double entry accounting in the very next lesson. Okay, so let's get started. What is double entry accounting? Well, double entry accounting is really just a set of accounting rules. That's it. It's just a set of rules, and uh, those rules take some time to learn. And usually, when you study accounting in college, um, your the first you know three or four or even five classes sometimes are devoted to learning the basics of these double entry accounting rules and how they all work. And my goal is to teach you these rules and concepts online for free through my accounting videos. Okay, so. Why is double entry accounting so important to learn? Well, the reason is is that it is the foundation um, that every country in the world uses for the accounting they use in their businesses. I mean, most major serious businesses use double entry accounting. There's some really small ones who don't need uh, very many records, who don't use double entry accounting, but most real players use double entry accounting. and every accounting software program I've ever seen or ever heard of is based on the concept of double entry and that's what you're going to learn in college if you study accounting that's what you're going to use in in uh, big businesses and small business in the United States and in almost any other developed country you're going to use so um, another thing you should know is that there are accounting rules above and beyond double entry accounting rules let me show you this um, little Pyramid chart, the pyramid chart that I made. Um, this chart or this pyramid could represent the accounting rules of any country in the world. It could represent the accounting rules of the United States or Canada or Singapore or Brazil or China, whatever. Every country, for their basis, uses double entry accounting rules as the foundation of their rules. And then they add additional rules on top of them depending on the country and depending what kind of accounting system they have but the foundation is always double entry. Okay, so before we um, learn how double entry accounting works, we need to um, build a foundation of knowledge and take a step back and ask ourselves the question, what is single entry accounting? Well, single entry accounting is what the world did before double entry accounting was invented. And how does it work? Well, one accounting historian called it glorified list making. So, I mean, really to do single entry accounting, you just write down all the transactions that happen in a business um, in order as they happen in a big list. So, single entry accounting really isn't a set of accounting rules like double entry accounting is. It's just writing stuff down in a list. So, um, one good example of that is your checkbook. And you can see my, my uh, beautiful uh, drawing of a checkbook. In your checkbook, you just write down everything that, everything that happens that goes in and out of your bank account in uh, a big list with a date next to it, you know, in order as it happens. So if you're balancing your checkbook and doing your checkbook uh, like it should be recorded, you're already doing single entry accounting. Okay, so now we're going to go into a, a little bit of a history lesson that will give you a better background into accounting. And in the long run, knowing some of the history is actually going to really help you understand the core concepts of double entry so that when we're going through the principles and how it works on a day-to-day -day basis, you'll grasp those principles more quickly. Okay, so way back before, you know, writing was invented, you know, prior to 3000 BC, I mean, accounting was just done by, by doing notches and sticks and, and making uh, uh, grooves into clay tablets. You see um, a picture of some of these old clay tablets that people used for accounting, you know, in before the invention of writing, and then um, those those techniques using um, you know notches and sticks and clay tablets and things like that were actually used, you know, all the way into um, in some countries all the way to the 1800s. But in countries that had writing and uh, had parchment, had written alphabets and that kind of thing, uh, starting around 3000 BC, they switched over to single entry accounting. And um, as soon as writing was invented, they started making these big lists and just writing everything down in a big list. And so um, for those civilizations that had good written records, 
from 3000 BC all the way to 1200 AD is just single entry accounting. It doesn't matter if you're the Egyptians or the Romans or uh, Sumerians, Assyrians, it doesn't matter, uh, or the Greeks, you know, any type of accounting you're doing is primarily single entry accounting. But um, single entry accounting has some issues. Um, it's kind of clumsy and it's hard to use if you need information quickly. And so, you know, nothing is categorized very well or detailed very well and all the information is in this kind of big overwhelming list. So, um, so around 1200 AD in Northern Italy, um, this person has this brilliant idea. You know, they're in their business and they're thinking to themselves, you know what, this single entry accounting stuff just isn't working for me anymore. You know, the, the list is too long and it's too clumsy and, and it's not organized enough and it takes me, um, you know, forever to get all the information I need. You know, I need something better. I need something faster. I need something more accurate that'll give me the, the answers I need. And so I'm going to invent something the world has never seen before. It's going to change the world as we know it. I am going to invent double entry accounting. Okay, so I don't really know what the person was thinking when he invented double entry accounting, but I think it was along those lines. And um, let me give you a little bit more background. The, the very first document that we know of that had double entry accounting was from a bank in Florence, Italy from the year 1211 AD. And um, b you know, between 1211 and 1494, more and more of these Italian merchants take what, whoever invented double entry accounting, he kind of spread the idea around. And more and more merchants in Northern Italy start using the double entry accounting system. And it makes them rich. I mean, they crush their competition because they know the profit margins better, they, uh, they know how to make deals better, they have better records, and they become fabulously wealthy. We're talking Florence, and Venice, and Genoa, and you know, some of these just amazing cities that are still, you know, have this amazing architecture from back in the day when they were wealthy, largely due to double entry accounting. So in 1494, um, a genius named Lucia Pacioli, you can see a, a painting of him right here. This is him in his little frock there. Anyway, he publishes the first double entry accounting textbook in Northern Italy. And um, th this book is amazing. And the guy is a genius. It's a math book actually, but one of the sections in this math book is 36 little chapters on double entry accounting. And it's just kind of an immediate success. I mean, the medieval nerds all across Europe just love it, right? And so it kind of spreads like wildfire. And you know, between 1494 and the late 1800s, the double entry accounting system just spreads and it becomes more and more popular until you know, businesses in every you know, quote unquote civilized country in the world are using double entry accounting. Okay, so, um, so that is the background of double entry accounting, which you now know is a set of accounting rules. And in my next lesson, we're going to see how it actually works by going through a real life example. So um, thanks for joining me today. If you like my videos, please do me a solid. Give me a uh, thumbs up in YouTube or make a comment or both. And if you really like my videos, please subscribe and you get updates that will uh, tell you when I put new videos out. And uh, you can also check out some more of my uh, free accounting videos at freeaccountingschool.com.